Hello everyone, I am Tanvi Kaur and I welcome you to this series called RBI 247. In this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try to discuss them with the help of different questions. So for all those who are there for the very first time, you can subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon so that whenever a new video comes up, you get notified about the same. You can also join our telegram group. In this very group, we share some free quizzes as well as the updates for all our latest videos. So let's not waste any time and move on to question number one, which says RBI is eyeing faced introduction of digital currency. Which of the following correctly relates to the central bank digital currency? So we'll first discuss this concept of central bank digital currency or CBDC and then we'll come back and answer this question. So recently, our deputy governor in a webinar discussed about the concept of central bank digital currency and its adoption in India in different phases. So we'll be discussing all about that central bank digital currency. What is it? What are its pros and cons? Should it be uh, introduced in India or not? Okay, so all the questions today are related to this concept only. So let's discuss this concept thoroughly. We have seen a boost to the digital platforms. Except the currency notes, all other instruments have now replaced the, have been replaced by the digital and electronic versions, be it bonds, securities, transactions, communications, messaging. This means that we are shifting now from the physical modes of doing things to the online modes. Now we have to buy basic grocery items. Footwear, karidna hota hai, clothing, karidna hota hai, electronics, karidna hota hai. What are we doing? Instead of going to the physical shops, retail shops, we are preferring the online platforms more. Okay, moreover, if you have to make a payment, instead of paying cash, we are preferring to make a payment through, say, Google Pay or our Paytm e wallet. Okay, so these e wallets, UPI, and other such platforms have been accepted by us okay we are using a lot of these digital platforms and they are preferred more these days especially after the pandemic pandemic has given a big boost to the digital platforms so taking into consideration this boost to the digital platforms we might also see good future ahead for our digital currency as well instead of having a paper currency why not have a digital currency it will offer numerous benefits so these developments in the digital platforms have resulted in the central banks and governments stepping up efforts to explore the digital version of fiat currency. Fiat currency is a currency which is legally recognized. Okay, So we have the paper currency legally recognized by Central Bank of India. So that's a fiat currency. Now, if I talk about what is central bank digital currency, in order to understand that, we must first understand what is currency, what are the basic features of currency. And to understand that, we should first understand the basic concept of money. Okay, so we'll cover what is money and how it has evolved, then we'll talk about currency and then we'll move on to the central bank digital currency. So if I talk about money, what is money? Money kya hai? Money is a medium of exchange. Humne kuch kharidna hota hai, then we can buy it if we have money. Okay. The money has taken different forms over time where it started with the concept of barter. A good ke badle dusra good exchange kar liya jai. Ye hota tha barter system mein. Okay. If a person has a wheat and he wants to sell wheat and say buy a millet, then he needs some other millet, some expensive millet. He will search for a person who is willing to buy wheat and willing to sell millet. This was the problem associated with barter. Not only this, how much of one product should be sold for the other? That was another problem. So one shifted to the metals and shells to be used to standardize the barter. So both metals and shells had some intrinsic value. Okay. So then came up the metal currencies like gold and silver. They also had intrinsic value and they were also used as a medium of exchange. So it had features of barter. Both gold and silver had intrinsic value as well as the money. Okay. So then we shifted to the paper currency. Uske saad bhi issues the to hum finally I paper currency pe and now we are looking forward to move towards a digital form of this paper currency. So money has taken different forms. Either in the, it was in the form of commodities where one good was exchanged for the other or we had the shells, metals, gold, silver used or we have some instruments uh, which are the debt instruments. Jo hamari paper currency hai. It's a debt instruments, instrument. Let's see how. When money does not have intrinsic value, 
इट शुड हैव द टाइटल टू सम कमोडिटी ओके और इट शुड हैव द टाइटल टू अदर डेट इंस्ट्रूमेंट पेपर करेंसी इज सच अ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव मनी एंड अ डेट इंस्ट्रूमेंट वेयर द ओनर ऑफ द करेंसी नोज हु ओज एम एंड हु हैज द अंडरलाइंग लाइबिलिटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज अ नोट विच आर बी आई इशूज ओके इट्स अ टू थाउजेंड नोट यू कैन सी इट्स रिटर्न ओवर है आई प्रोमिस टू पे द बियर अ सम ऑफ टू थाउजेंड रुपीज सो दिस टू थाउजेंड रुपी इज द लाइबिलिटी ऑफ आर बी आई विच इट हैज टू पे टू यू एंड इट्स असेट फॉर यू दैट्स वाई अ पेपर करेंसी इज अ डेट इंस्ट्रूमेंट क्योंकि जो पर्सन है उसके लिए वो नोट जिसके पास वो नोट है उस पर्सन के लिए वो असेट है लेकिन वो आर बी आई की तरफ से लाइबिलिटी है कि वो इतना अमाउंट हमें ओ करता है सो वी आर अ होल्डर ऑफ अ टू थाउजेंड रुपी वर्थ असेट ओके now coming to what is currency we have understood the basic concept of money so let's understand what is currency then currency is a form of money okay so first thing is it's a form of money second thing is it is exclusively issued by a sovereign that is central bank as a representative of the government is the one who issues it so it's a form of money is first thing second issued by sovereign third is it is the liability of the issuing central bank as i've just discussed and fourth is that it's the asset of the holding public this also i have discussed fifth is that it's the it is fiat which means issued by determined authority which makes it a legal tender so currency ek money ka form hai jo sovereign aapka central bank issue karta hai wo legally recognized hai isliye wo legal tender hai ek liability hai wo central bank ki aur jiske paas wo note hai uske liye wo asset hai okay so what is central bank digital currency then central bank digital currency is the legal tender issued by central bank in digital form to jo bhi currency ke features the wo sare features central bank digital currency ke bhi features hai lekin physical form mein hone ke bajaye wo currency bas digital form mein hai that's the only difference which we have so it's same as fiat currency and is exchangeable one to one with fiat currency only its form is different than the paper it's a sovereign currency but in electronic form and it will also appear as a liability for central bank okay it should be exchangeable at par with cash so one who is having a 100 rupee digital currency okay he uh, can easily exchange it for 100 rupee cash as well so the value will be same cbdc is a digital or virtual currency but it is not comparable to the private virtual currencies ab kitni ye private virtual currencies aa gayi hai cryptocurrency bitcoin dogecoin kitna zyada popular ho gaye hain ye to kya cbdc aur ye ekdam same hi hai bas nahi there is a lot of difference private virtual currencies are not that reliable vis a vis the digital currency so private virtual currency sit at substantial odds to the historical concept of money in fact it properly currency bhi nahi hai करेंसी क्या होती है अभी हमने डिस्कस किया जो गवर्नमेंट इश्यू करती है या जिसको लीगल रिकॉग्नेशन है प्राइवेट वर्चुअल करेंसी को तो नहीं है तो वो करेंसी की डेफिनेशन में तो आती ही नहीं है सो प्राइवेट वर्चुअल करेंसी आर नॉट कमोडिटीज और क्लेम्स ऑन कमोडिटीज दे हैव नो इंट्रेंसिक वैल्यू दे हैव नो इशूअर नो गवर्नमेंट इशूअर ओके दे आर नॉट मनी तो वो करेंसी तो है ही नहीं क्योंकि उनको लीगली रिकोगनाइज ही नहीं है so they are not meeting the basic features of currency so they are not currencies okay not actually the not actually they are apt as far as considering the currency is concerned but central bank digital currency will have that legal recognition so what is the need for cbdc while interest in cbdcs is near universal now very few countries have reached even the pilot stage of launching it सो काफ़ी कंट्रीज हैं जो इस पर वर्क कर रही हैं अभी फुल फ्लैज वे में किसी ने भी डिजिटल करेंसी को लॉन्च नहीं करा है सब इनिशियल स्टेज में हैं उसको चेक करने के कि कितनी सक्सेसफुल वो होंगी सर्वे वॉज कंडक्टेड वेयर इट वॉज फाउंड दैट एटी सिक्स परसेंट सेंट्रल बैंक्स आर रिसर्चिंग ऑन सी बी डी सी सिक्सटी परसेंट आर एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग विद द टेक्नोलॉजी फोर्टीन परसेंट आर डिप्लॉइंग पायलट प्रोजेक्ट्स कुछ कुछ सेगमेंट में सम ऑफ दी सेगमेंट्स लाइक डिटेल सेगमेंट और होलसेल सेगमेंट दे आर टेस्टिंग वेदर दिस सी बी डी सी वर्क और नॉट एंड देन दे विल लॉन्च इट इन अ फुल फ्लेज इट स्केल सो वाई हैज दिस सडन इंटरेस्ट कम अप एकदम से ये सी बी डी सी की तरफ इतना ज़्यादा इंटरेस्ट क्यों आ रहा है कुछ तो बेनिफिट्स होंगे जो ये सी बी डी सी ऑफर करती है सो लेट एस हैव अ लुक एट ऑल दोज बेनिफिट्स सो फर्स्ट इज द बूस्ट ऑफ दोज 
adopting digital platforms we have just discussed that each and everything is going digital so why not the currency instead of making people uh, prefer the private virtual currencies we should as a government okay mm -hmm. come up with a digital currency itself so central banks are uh, faced with the dwindling usage of paper currency and more acceptance of the electronic form is looking forward to have a digital currency सेकेंड इज इट विल रिड्यूस अ लॉट ऑफ कॉस्ट हमारी कंट्री इतनी बड़ी है कितने ज्यादा नोट्स प्रिंट करने पड़ते हैं कितना ज्यादा उनका ट्रांसपोर्टेशन करना पड़ता है स्टोरेज करना पड़ता है डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन करना पड़ता है सो इफ वी गो टू द डिजिटल करेंसी देन अ लॉट ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रिंटिंग ट्रांसपोर्टिंग स्टोरिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन विल कम डाउन देन इज अड्रेसिंग द मैल प्रैक्टिस एंड द वॉलिटैलिटी विच इज एसोसिएटेड विद दी प्राइवेट वर्चुअल करेंसी प्राइवेट वर्चुअल करेंसी बहुत ज्यादा अनसेफ है ओके उसके साथ बहुत सी मैल प्रैक्टिस एसोसिएटेड है एंड देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ वॉलेटैलिटी सेंट्रल बैंक सीट टू मीट द पब्लिक्स नीड फॉर डिजिटल करेंसीज मैनिफेस्टेड इन द इंक्रीजिंग यूज ऑफ प्राइवेट वर्चुअल करेंसीज एंड देयर बाय अवॉइड मोर डैमेजिंग कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ द प्राइवेट करेंसीज नो इफ यू आर यूजिंग दीज डिजिट दीज क्रिप्टो करेंसीज ओके प्राइवेट वर्चुअल करेंसीज विद नो गवर्नमेंट सुपरविजन देर इज ईजी वे आउट टू make the cross border payment okay and all this lend renders one to the mal practices like that of tax evasion terror funding money laundering to iske sath bahut se negatives associated hain moreover koi stability nahi hai humne dekha ki ekdam se kitni high value chali jati hai uski aur ekdam low ho jati hai so ye ek reliable source to hai hi nahi aur wo reliable source hame degi central bank digital currency it will reduce the settlement risk also okay now if you are say making a payment internationally okay so usually you have to get your rupees converted to dollar if you have to pay a payment so if the central bank digital currency come up it will be easy to settle out the things the settlement risk will reduce so in addition to the cbdcs in addition cbdcs have some advantages over digital systems where the इंटर बैंक सेटलमेंट एक्सेट्रा टाइप्स ऑफ थिंग्स यू डोंट नीड टू डू अब यू पी आई आप पेमेंट करते हो यू पी आई ट्रांसफर करते हो उसके अंडर लाइन तो बैंक से पैसा दूसरे बैंक में जाता है ना तो ये इंटर बैंक सेटलमेंट की नीड भी चली जाएगी अगर सी बी डी सी आ गया तो इट इंश्योर्स अ रियल टाइम कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव ग्लोबलाइज पेमेंट सिस्टम यू कैन ईजिली मेक अ पेमेंट टू एन एक्सपोर्टर इन एन करेंसी विच इज uh not a rupee by easily doing so using the central bank digital currency so uh, this will reduce your herstat risk or there will be no herstat risk herstat risk is nothing but your settlement risk all only so if you say uh, want to get converted your rupee into dollar you might have paid the rupee but that might not have been converted to dollar so settlement mein issues aate hain aapne pay kar diya aap aapko jaise rupee exchange karna hai dollar se if you want to get rupees exchange for dollar you might have paid the rupee but the dollars might not come up so this type of settlement issues will be resolved if we come up with the central bank digital currency so these are the benefits so do we need cbdc in india kya india mein hame cbdc ki zarurat hai जो अभी हमने एडवांटेजेस देखे उसको देख के तो लगता है कि हाँ जरूरत है द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ इशूइंग सी बी डी सी माइट बी इनफ टू जस्टिफाई इट्स इशुएंस इन इंडिया बट वी हैव सीन एज पर सर्टन स्टडीज विच हैव बीन कंडक्टेड दैट फॉर स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन लाइक रुपी फाइव हंड्रेड अप टू रुपी फाइव हंड्रेड टाइप ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन पीपल प्रेफर यूजिंग कैश ओनली पाँच सौ रुपये तक की ट्रांजेक्शन के लिए लोग कैश देना प्रेफर करते हैं सो so, जो वो यूजर्स हैं जो स्मॉल अमाउंट ट्रांजेक्शन के यूजर्स हैं उनके लिए हो सकता है सी बी डी सी इतनी यूजफुल ना हो ओके बट प्रेफरेंस फॉर कैश फॉर इट्स अनोनिमिटी फॉर इंस्टेंस कैन बी रीडायरेक्टेड टू एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ सी बी डी सी एज लॉन्ग एज अनोनिमिटी इज अश्योर्ड सो so, एक तो हमने कहा कि जो एडवांटेजेस थे सारे अभी डिस्कस किए उसकी वजह से सी बी डी सी यूजफुल है सेकेंडली हमने ये कहा कि स्मॉल ट्रांजेक्शन में इतना यूजफुल नहीं है थर्डली सी बी डी सी को लोग तब एक्सेप्ट करेंगे अगर अनोनिमिटी रहेगी ना इफ यू आर यूज इफ यू आर पे यूजिंग अ नोट ओके इफ यू आर हैविंग हंड्रेड रुपी नोट एंड यू पे इट टू सम वन ही विल पे टू सम वन एल्स ही एंड दैट पर्सन विल पे टू सम वन एल्स टू बाय समथिंग सो दिस वे इफ यू हैव अ नोट यू कैन यूज इट एज यू वॉन्ट नो बडी विल बी एबल टू ट्रैक हाउ दैट मनी इज गेटिंग यूज ओके सो देर इज अनोनिमिटी बट इफ दिस सेंट्रल बैंक डिजिटल करेंसी ऑफर्स दिस अनोनिमिटी देन people will accept cbdc but if this anonymity is not offers if 
it can be tracked that where your money is getting used then people might have problems accepting cbdc so the things will be decided once the framework comes up abhi to humne humne central bank digital currency ko you adopt nahi kiya hai we are working on it अगर ये यूज होती है तो क्या फ्रेमवर्क बनता है क्या अनोनिमिटी रहेगी क्या हम डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लेजर यूज करेंगे कि सेंट्रलाइज लेजर यूज करेंगे जहां सब आरबीआई मेंटेन करेगी तो अनोनिमिटी रहती है कि नहीं वो एक मेजर फैक्टर होगा ये डिसाइड करने में कि लोग सीबीडीसी को कितना एक्सेप्ट करेंगे एंड ऑब्वियसली दी प्राइवेट वर्चुअल करेंसीज आर वन ऑफ द मेजर रीजन वाई वी शुड शिफ्ट to the central bank digital currency because otherwise people will get engaged in private virtual currencies and there is lot of volatility associated with it it's not stable but our cbdc will be secure and stable form of digital money so this is these were few points then your central bank digital currency can also affect your banking system and monetary policy agar central bank digital currency aati hai तो लोग डिपॉजिट के फॉर्म में पैसा नहीं रखना चाहेंगे जब वो सेंट्रल बैंक डिजिटल करेंसी के फॉर्म में उसको होल्ड कर सकते हैं तो अगर लोग बैंक में पैसा डिपॉजिट्स में नहीं रखेंगे तो बैंक के पास पैसा नहीं होगा तो क्रेडिट क्रिएशन में प्रॉब्लम होगी उनके पास पैसा नहीं होगा तो वो लोन्स कैसे देंगे और मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी हमारी बैंकिंग सिस्टम पर डिपेंड करती है कि आप जो भी रेट्स चेंज करते हो उसका एक अफेक्ट बेसिकली बैंक्स के थ्रू जाता है कि पीपल कितना लोग जो है वो कितना पैसा बैंक में रखेंगे एंड कितना विड्रॉ करेंगे कितनी मनी सप्लाई अफेक्ट होगी सो so, वो सब चीज़ें हैम्पर हो सकती हैं सी बी डी सी इज डिपेंड ऑन द एक्सटेंट ऑफ यूज कैन कॉज अ रिडक्शन इन द डिमांड फॉर बैंक डिपॉजिट पीपल माइट वॉन्ट टू होल्ड मनी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सी बी डी सी एंड नॉट इन बैंक डिपॉजिट विच विल रिड्यूज द अमाउंट ऑफ मनी अवेलेबल फॉर बैंक एंड दस द क्रेडिट क्रिएशन विल गेट रिस्ट्रेंड सो द it is important to design the cbdc in such a manner that such kinds of risks can be managed but there is another view point that cbdc is a currency you will not earn any interest on currency but if you deposit some money in a bank you will earn some interest so this is said that this very problem that it will lead to fall in deposit currency in depositing the money in the bank is not that very valid valid reason or that problem can be solved because of the interest which banks offer okay now moving ahead is what are the issues associated with adoption agar hum isko adopt karna chahe to kya problem hai ek to hai aapki problem ki stress ke time pe log bahut zyada paisa withdraw kar lenge ab koi stressful situation aati hai to log paisa withdraw karna shuru kar lete hain agar digital form mein hoga to wo withdrawal bahut easy ho jayega so that will be the problem availability of cbdc makes it easily accessible for depositors to withdraw money in the stress situation because of which they will withdraw a lot during such situations second is we have the technology risk if you are opting this technological platform if digital platform is been adopted then there is risk of cyber attack moreover we need countries to have high financial literacy levels otherwise they won't be able to use such platforms okay uh, we need to be prepared with technology with high speed internet with telecommunication network if this is not there then there will be problems with respect to storing transacting in cbdcs okay so acha technology preparedness hame chahiye tabhi hum cbdc ko acche se implement kar payenge then is the risks associated with making change in the legal framework whatever is the legal framework whatever policies are there they are framed keeping in mind that we have a paper currency in a physical form but if the digital things comes up we need to make changes in the coinage act for an exchange management act it act and all these things so these are some issues associated with the cbdc so should we go for cbdc or not that's again the point so central bank across globe are engaged in exploring cbdcs what are their pros and cons and they are doing pilot testing okay a committee was formulated by the ministry of finance to examine the legal framework of virtual and cryptocurrencies to introduce and they recommended introduction of a digital form so hamara digital ye jo cryptocurrency bill bhi pending tha jisme decide karna tha ki hame cryptocurrencies ko valid rakhna hai ki ban karna hai and all those kinds of thing to ek committee banayi gayi thi and that committee has recommended that we should have a central bank digital currency so like other bank rbi is exploring this opportunity and it is looking forward for a phased implementation rbi will not all together implement it for the entire country in all the segments it will first try and test it in some of the segments see the results do a pilot testing and then it will law it will commercialize it in a 
फुल फ्रेजिट स्केल सो हमें उसका फेज इम्प्लीमेंटेशन करना है पूरी कंट्री में हर सेगमेंट के लिए एकदम से नहीं इम्प्लीमेंट करना पहले कुछ सेगमेंट में पायलट टेस्टिंग करके देखना है कि वो वर्कआउट कर रहा है कि नहीं सो आर बी आई इज एक्सप्लोरिंग द थिंग्स एंड सम की इशूज विच आर कमिंग अप आर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू स्कोप ऑफ सी बी डी सी इसके इन्हें रिटेल सेगमेंट में ऑफर किया जाए होल सेल में कि सब में टेक्नोलॉजी के रिस्पेक्ट में प्रॉब्लम है वॉट शुड बी दट अंडरलाइन टेक्नोलॉजी वॉट काइंड ऑफ लेजर शुड बी मेंटेन डिजिटलाइज और सेंट्रलाइज दिस विल अफेक्ट द अनोनिमिटी ओके देन वॉट विल इट विल बी अकाउंट बेस्ड और टोकन बेस्ड वॉट विल बी द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन स्ट्रक्चर वेदर आर बी आई विल इशू इट और द बैंक सो ऑल दीज इशूज आर देयर दे आर अंडर कंसेंट्रेशन एंड द फ्यूचर ऑफ द सी बी डी सी इज क्वाइट नियर नाउ सो टू कंक्लूड विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ सी बी डी सी हैज न्यूमरस बेनिफिट्स ओके लोअर ट्रांजेक्शन कॉस्ट लोअर डिपेंडेंसी ऑन कैश रिड्यूज सेटलमेंट रिस्क more robust efficient trusted regulated payment option but there are risks also no doubt but those risk needs to be evaluated properly against what are the benefits so hame comparison karna hai ki ye ye benefit hai ye risk hai to in risk ko hum kaise minimize kar sakte hai taki hum un benefits ka fayda utha sake so cbdc is likely to be the arsenal for every central bank going forward and a careful calibration and nuanced approach is needed in its implementation and its future the time for cbdc is almost near to kafi pass hai hum cbdc ko adopt karne ke so this was all about cbdc now let's see what rbi does what how it implements this very thing which has a good future ahead so if i move back to the question we had to identify the correct statement first is correct that it's a legal tender issued in digital form by central bank second is correct a sovereign currency in electronic form a liability for central bank third is incorrect which is no government supervision is there and ease of cross border payments makes them vulnerable to malpractices no that's for your private virtual currencies so only first and second are correct answer is option b moving on to question number 2 now which is related to this which of the following are issues associated with adopting the cbdc so we have discussed technology risk is a issue legal framework needs to be amended is a issue herstat risk is not that very big issue because it is going to be the advantage which this cbdc will offer it will reduce this risk so first and second are the uh, options which are correct so answer is option b again now moving on to last question Central banks all around the world are looking for implementing CBDC due to the numerous benefits it is likely to offer. Offer which of the following benefit does it not offer? In me se kaun sa benefit hai jo wo offer nahi karegi? It will reduce transportation transportation cost, printing cost. Ye to sahi hai. It will address malpractices, volatility with private currency. This is also correct. A benefit. It will reduce the settlement risk. This is also correct. it will ensure real time and cost effective globalization of payments it is also correct so in me se aisa koi nahi hai jo correct na ho that's why answer is option e none of the above so this was all for today's session i hope this session was interesting and useful for you with this i would like to end up this session thank you so much